Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create cables or wires with physics. So let's get started. First we go to edit preferences and other add-ons. We search the curve extra objects add-on which is already built in in Blender. After that we can simply select the objects we want to connect with the wire. So I select those little things. Press shift A, go to curve and under knots we can select the sanitary. As you can see a cable or wire gets generated and on the left side here we can change some settings. The steps means how detailed the geometry is. I would leave this at 10. The A value here means how much the wire or cable hangs through. So just change this value how you like it. If you only want the cable without physics you can simply increase the bevel radius and you already are done. If this is not the case, reduce the radius again to 0. Leave the resolution U here to 2 because otherwise you have way too much geometry. You will see later why. In this stage we are done, we can click somewhere else, select this cable again and we have to right click and convert it into a mesh. If we press tab now we can see we have evenly spaced out vertices which is great. To give this cable some physics we select it, go under physics and add in a cloth modifier. If you would press play now everything would fall down. To prevent this from happening we go into edit mode. Let's toggle on the x-ray mode so we can see everything and we select the first and the last vertice. Under the data tab we add in a new vertex group and hit assign. So this vertice and this vertice over here are assigned to this group. Back in object mode we go into the physics tab and scroll all the way down to shape. Under the pin group we select the vertex group we just created. This means those vertices we selected will be pinned to the location. So if you press play now those vertices will hold the cable in place but the other things are simulated. To make it even more smooth we can add in a subdivision surface and move this on top of the cloth simulation. Let's up the viewport level to 2. And if we press play now you can see the cable will fall down way further. This is because we added more vertices to it with the subdivision modifier. If you don't want the cable to be that loose you can go into the cloth modifier and under stiffness up the tension. Let's up this maybe to 50 and see how it looks. And yeah this cable is way more stable now. All that is left is to give the cable some more thickness so we add in a skin modifier and to make it round we just select the smooth shading option. To reduce the thickness we have to go into edit mode. Let's also toggle the x-ray mode again. Press A to select all vertices and then if we press Control A we can scale it down. Let's go to the beginning and scale it down the way we want. And after that we have a working cable or wire with physics. The cool thing about this is we can also add in some force fields such as wind or turbulence. So if we add in a wind, you can see the cable or wire gets affected by it. If you want more of them you can simply press shift D to duplicate them and place them wherever you want. If you're happy with your simulation, select all the sanitaries and under bake press alt and bake. This will save the simulation for all the wires. If you would select all and just hit bake without pressing alt, it will only save for this wire here. So keep in mind if you want to change settings for all the other wires too, always press alt and click on it and then if you change the value it will get updated for all the others too. Thanks a lot for watching, I hope you could learn something today and I see you the next time, peace out.